What are some of the best grow lights on the market today that you've tested? Well, I put it into different categories, really, because there are some lights which are just really, really good value and extraordinary quality for how cheap they are. Um, and then there are others which are multiple of times as expensive per watt to buy, but are extraordinary because they have really good efficiency and really high quality in terms of their build. Um, I would say in the budget category, I reviewed some that have been exceptionally good from a build quantity, a build uh, quality point of view. So your your Amazon-y type lights around a dollar a watt. Generally, they tend to be a little bit tinny and flimsy in, in at parts. But uh, one that stood out for me was MaxiSun. Really high quality build. It's that sort of build quality where you just when you have it in your hand. It's nothing in particular. It's all the little details. It's everything is finished off really well. So they have that sort of um, baking tin type reflector that Mars Hydro used and a few other manufacturers use. But it's a little bit more solid and it's a little bit more robust um, than maybe the Mars Hydro one. Um, speaking of Mars Hydro, there, what's the name of it again? The long form one. SP3000. SP. The SP series. series, it's been out about two years. They've revised it this year. It's really good quality. Um, so again, in, in the lower price category, that's that's a good one. In the medium price range, I'm going to plug my own. So Migro Array, um, I try to strike that balance between being good quality as well as good performance and decent price. So it's, you know, that 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 uh, a, a, a good balance of all of those. Um, you get up into the higher performance range or higher price range, more commercial type fixtures um, in terms of the, um, you know, the uh, the cost in particular. And I would say Lumatech, uh, also known as Photon Tech in the US, are an excellent brand. Uh, I've, 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 I used to use them. I've been using them for 15 years. This is, you know, my first digital ballast I bought was Lumatech, uh, and I've never heard anything other than good things about them. Their build quality is excellent. Their performance is excellent. Bit of a premium for it, but it's worthwhile. Uh, Gavita, I love their LED light, uh, but again, it's, you know, you probably would be in the commercial space if you're going to be paying that much for them because they're quite expensive in terms of cost per dollar. Um, but yeah, I've reviewed hundreds of them. Uh, I don't review all the grow lights I get offered or asked to review. So anyone that I do has sort of passed the basic test that I've taken it out of the box. It hasn't fallen apart in my hands. The build quality is good. The performance is decent. The in I'm kind of particular about the information they provide as well. So I'll check to see are they making reasonable, are their specifications reasonable? Um, and like I would reject, I'd probably reject like two to one. So I'd probably reject two grow lights for every one I test um, on the basis that there's an awful lot of um, spurious sort of, you know, uh, yeah, just missing on a few of the main points in terms of build quality and in particular the marketing information or the specifications. Um, you know, I had one the other day and I it looked OK on the website. I got it delivered. It was a Chinese manufacturer, uh, which, by the way, is not a derogatory term I use. I use it sometimes when people think that I'm, I'm using that as a derogatory term. It's not. Um, you know, uh, my drivers are made in Hong Kong. My, my LED boards are assembled in China and shipped here. You know, pretty much every grow light is made in China these days. So it's not a. I'm not separating out Chinese as a, a derogatory term. But anyway, they were um, marketed and sold directly by themselves. They sent me the light. I took it out of the box and immediately um, the central beam, which had the drivers in it, it was just rattling around. <laughs> and uh, so I opened up the cover and it was, you could just, the build quality, the, the extrusions were really thin and really tinny. And um, the drivers weren't fixed down properly. And when I opened it up, it was just like a rat's nest of wiring. And, you know, ugh. anyway, I, I called them up immediately and just said, look, I, I'm going to throw it in the bin or you can collect it. So I'm, I'm not testing this. So um, there is still 
quite a lot of junk out there so i would recommend if you're going to buy a grow light do have a look at the channel because it's a it's at least a minimum level of guarantee that the build quality is up to a, a comparable standard or a, a good standard for the industry and then as i said you'll see from the performance uh, whether the components are of a good quality or not high performance means they've had to use uh, good quality uh, components medium you know is probably price related they're probably um, trading off with with cost and price and uh, a low efficiency you know I, I may not be you know i may not saying it directly to camera but you can usually tell if you watch me closely that i'm sort of yeah this could be better you know <laughs> I'll, be, I'll, be, uh, I'll be subtly hinting that there's uh, better things on the market than this one even though it might be adequate in other ways you know this clip is brought to you by ac infinity Use discount code MrGrow at 15 to save on any of their products.